E boomers. So what's going to happen when the boomers die in terms of their inheritance? You could say that there is a lot of strife around inheritance issues. However, these issues are not just based on what's going on right now. I can remember people talking about inheritance issues all of my life. But in this case, the um, older Americans hold the majority of America's personal wealth. So this is likely to be passed on to younger generations. And no matter how rich or poor a family is, every dollar, every cent has the potential to spark controversy and disagreement and deep rifts within the family. So that, you know, the, the worst thing you can do to your heirs is to just sort of blithely don't even bring it up. Or the worst thing you can do is not have a will. Have a will, people. This is so important. So here we have, um, you know, things are, there are different scenarios that we can go over. I'm getting some of this information out of the re most recent AARP. There is a situation, many situations, where one of the children take care of an older adu adult in the home, aging in place and so forth, whereas the other siblings may not have done much to help. And in fact, in some cases, may have done nothing to help. But when the parent dies, uh, this is, uh, um, becomes a, should be pretty common sense that the person who's taking care of that person should get the inheritance, and if they are generous at heart, they will distribute it. However, hard feelings often do arise out of these situations. So we need uh, transparency and tact in these situations. Whether you are planning to leave your caregivers your home, jewelry collection, or a large portion of your cash, you have to explain your decision-making process. Be open, be honest, be transparent. Why, do why are people so afraid to talk about money? So they could, even if they tell the siblings that a large part of the inheritance goes to the one who took care of them, I still think there's gonna, there is strife and grievances and hard feelings. There's really no getting around it. So a lot of the times the kids who's taking care of the parents have foregone work and they don't, haven't had a salary for who knows how, many, how long. And these issues need to be taken into account. So I don't know what average inheritance cost or um, I don't know the statistics about what average inheritance amounts are, but um, you know, sometimes if you're not going to talk about these situations with your kids, there could be what well, there could arise some false expectations about people thinking they're going to get a lot of money when they may not get the money. According to the AARP, your kids may think they're le you're leaving them caviar and champagne, but in reality, you're leaving pretzels and beer. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So, you know, people are embarrassed about their finances. They're afraid to talk about it. And uh, people judge you. But it's important to be at least out front with your kids because um, they, they don't deserve to be left in the dark about these things. And um, you can plan who gets items of sentimental value if you really don't have much cash. And, uh, Beanie Babies, oh that's funny, Beanie Babies become a real problem because people really want them. I guess maybe, are they collector's items or something? Who knows? So, estate planning and wills. You know, I am amazed how many people I run into who do not have wills, who actually have a significant amount of money to give their kids, but they don't have wills. 
my goodness. So, you know, if you want to give money to all of your children, and there's one who has had made some questionable choices, whether in the realm of addiction, let's say, or uh, at the time of the parent's death in the realm of, of say, gambling or gambling, <laughs> blackjack tables, then it could be that you would want to have a trust for that little soul, have a trust for that person so that they don't feel like they're being left out and that whatever it was that they did or something they did was wrong, whereas in their heart of hearts, they probably have a gambling addiction and they can get some help with that. So um, there's a, I know that in my own family and my, with my husband and his sister, when their dad died, he had some money for them. He had saved this money for them and their stepmother swept in and took it all. Somehow she was able to do that legally. But then again, she was his caregiver and she was taking care of him and my husband was able to let go of this but his sister was not she still complains about the situation <laughs> i love her deeply but you know if we're going to have grievances at all we don't need to have any at all we need to work on forgiveness letting go my set my 13 principles for liberation that i put up the other day or, and discussed those things are invaluable for letting go and letting God and accepting what is and trying to be resourceful about what it is you can do for yourself. So we can discuss, uh, we can continue to discuss this issue. Um, estate planning is an important thing to do and we can discuss probate process and how it can ma be managed or minimized or maximized. So this family disputes, that is probably unavoidable because families often have disputes, whether it's about the will or about money or about anything, about politics. A lot of times people aren't talking to each other because of what one or the other is involved with in terms of politics. So a lot of times you can have a family member or another person who would act as a mediator to discuss these, these disputes. Um, it's, it's really so sad that this has to happen, but in this day and age with the boomer how can the boomer, I guess we've discussed that boomer wealth is mainly rooted in real estate and a lot of times you can't liberate that money, so there's that problem. And uh, you have to, I think the main thing here is to be honest. Be honest about everything. Um, also, if you are suddenly willed a lot of money or anybody is there is something called um, the sudden impact of sudden wealth syndrome and how to cope with it so that would be like winning the lottery or getting a, a huge inheritance and uh, not knowing what to do you know a lot of people might win a several million or more dollars in the lottery and it's gone in a few years because they have sort of limited beliefs about money they spend too much maybe or they don't uh, um, see the flow from the heart to the brain to be able to distribute wealth in an equitable in a way that is very helpful to other people um, so one of the things I did say I was going to talk about today in terms of some of the baby boomers worried about losing their wealth and losing their homes and becoming homeless before any of this becomes manifested into reality because fear can hasten a bad reality 
I wanted to tell you about this iceberg effect, which Dean Holland is my mentor. He is a brilliant affiliate marketer, and he has become all of our friends. This book, you can get it for free, except you can pay for postage, and uh, I'll leave the link underneath this video. And he helps, has helped us so much with how to set up an affiliate marketing business and how you know the, the mindsets involved are so important, if not more important than anything else. Are, uh, that's why I've been talking about mindset on this channel for quite some time. It's, it's one of the most important things I think that there is. And the more that you flow with freedom and lack of attachment and realize that everything is impermanent and that money is impermanent, but we can give it to our children and we can leave a legacy with the money that we get from affiliate marketing. We can leave a legacy and give to the charities of our choice or support children who may be handicapped or disabled. There's all kinds of things we can do with extra money. And this is what this book is about. How to get your mindset in line with making money. Please subscribe to my channel. I hope that I see you soon. Well, I will be doing another video tomorrow, but I do hope that you have a wonderful time. Make it a great day. Bye-bye.